Hi everyone, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're actually going to be renovating an apartment in the fashion district of San Marcino and I'm actually renovating this apartment for my save file. So yeah, this is technically an apartment that I already had done for my save, but I did the original one way back in like 2017. So yeah, it was really outdated. My building like style and skills and everything like that has changed a lot since 2017. And honestly, also we already also have like a bunch of different packs and stuff that we've gotten since then. So I really wanted to update this apartment. And I kind of want to go through and update a couple of apartments in San Marcino that I did in like 2017, 2018. A lot of them I actually did before I even had my channel because I've been working on this save file for honestly like probably like six years or something five or six years in February will at February of like 2023 will be my five year YouTube anniversary but I've been working on this save file since before I even started my channel. So there are definitely a couple of builds that I kind of want to go back through and kind of like redo and like especially the apartments because they're very easy to like redo. They're, they take a little bit like less time to do than, you know, doing a whole like exterior of a house or something. But yeah, I kind of want to go through, like I said, and redo a couple of apartments and I started with this one. So this one is actually a really small apartment in the fashion district. It's the 1310 21 Schick Street apartment. So if you start a like new game, this is the apartment across the hall from where Penny Pizzazz lives. No, so originally this apartment is supposed to be empty, but I actually ended up turning it into a really small family apartment. And I say family apartment kind of in air quotes because there's only one bedroom. It's technically only set up for two sims and I will put them up on the screen so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But this is for Paul and Annabelle Tyler and they're like a newly married couple in my head. They recently moved from maybe like a small hometown. I'm thinking like Hinford on Bagley small type thing and they probably still have family over in that area of like the world but they recently moved to the city because of Annabelle's career. So Annabelle is actually in the social media career. She's in the public relations branch of the career. And yeah, so just being in the city just like made sense for her career. And also Paul is actually a minor league. He's basically a minor leaguer in the athlete career. And minor leagues probably means like baseball, I think. I'm not familiar with like American sports, but... I'm thinking he also recently got signed to one of the local teams in San Maishuno and yeah, they're both doing very, very well. They're both very career oriented and, you know, they wanted to come to the city for their careers, but they basically, they found this small apartment when they moved and they were actually able to afford it. In my head, they, I tried to keep this under 20,000 to make it like a starter for two sims. But I got a little bit carried away, so it ended up being just under 45,000. So it is a little bit more expensive. In my head, maybe they got it like furnished or something, and this isn't actually what they paid for it. Maybe they like paid like a little bit less for it, and they got it like mostly furnished, and they just, I don't know, maybe added a couple of smaller pieces or, you know, stuff like that maybe they bought a new couch and a new bed but most of the other stuff was already here maybe but anyway so yeah it's not technically a starter but in my head it's supposed to be kind of like their first home together and they've moved into the small apartment and they both knew that it was only going to be like temporary because you know it is their first apartment in the city they you know they're starting to move up in their careers so they can save up to get a bigger place, stuff like that. But they do still want to stay in the city, you know, for their careers. But they actually both want big families. They both have the big happy family aspiration. So they both want a big family. 
but they just didn't think that they would be starting on that family as soon as they did. So in the save file, Annabelle is actually going to be pregnant and she is pregnant when I, she was pregnant when I built this apartment, but she's like really, really early on in being pregnant. So she's not even showing like a baby bump yet. She doesn't know that she's pregnant. So like the game hasn't like told her that she's pregnant so she doesn't have any of the moodlets or anything like that so it's kind of like a little bit of a surprise and yeah so she is pregnant and that's kind of also actually you know thinking about it now it doesn't really make sense that she wouldn't know that she's pregnant because I ended up putting a bassinet in their bedroom so maybe we're gonna pretend so the game doesn't know that she's pregnant. So it hasn't like told her, I say in air quotes, in the game. But in real life, she probably would know that she's pregnant. But she's just not like showing yet. She doesn't have a baby bump yet. So she's pretty early on in her pregnancy. And yeah, so they did set up a little like nursery corner in their bedroom for when the baby is born. But they really, really need to save up for a new apartment, a bigger apartment, because obviously this is a one bedroom apartment and there's like no space for, you know, putting in like toddler stuff or anything like that. You could probably squeeze in a toddler bed in their bedroom if you moved the wardrobes around a little bit or something like that. You could probably put in a toddler bed and, you know, there's definitely space in the bathroom for like a toddler potty. You could fit in a high chair around the dining table as well. So for it probably would work for a toddler and then the two parents. But anything bigger than that, anything older than that, like a child or whatever, they're going to need a new place. So they kind of like really need to start saving up. And they didn't think that they would have to do it this early on. But oh well, things ended up working out that way. And the problem with that is the fact that Paul is a party animal. I did actually give him the party animal trait that came with high school years. So he is a party animal. He's like, there wasn't a lot of opportunity for, you know, being social and parties and stuff like that where they grew up in their small town. But now that they're in the city and now that he's been signed to a sports team and he has, you know, obviously teammates and everything like that. He does in he does go to parties quite often. He is usually the life of the party. Annabelle is also very social. She's also like I think an outgoing sim and stuff like that. So she doesn't mind that, you know, aspect of him and like that those personality traits and stuff. But, you know, with them having to start saving up and having to, you know, start their family and start, you know, making sure everything is set up for that he kind of really needs to stop doing that because they can't afford it for one and two they probably should like you know once they have a baby he's going to need to be home a little bit more often so yeah that's just a little bit of a thing for them so in the save file i actually have it set up so that they have in like family funds they actually have like i think 900 simoleons or something like that so not a lot i don't even know if it's enough to pay rent in this place but if they go to work like once or twice they'll have enough for rent because they are they're both i think level four in their like respective careers i think so yeah they should be fine but yeah it's a little bit of like a backstory that i had for them and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy how this apartment turned out. It's very like white and bright and a couple of like blue pops of blue. But otherwise, it's kind of like also very neutral. There are a couple of more personalized things like the sports clutter. You know, Paul has a punching bag in the entryway. They obviously have little desk set up for Annabelle because she does work from home quite a bit. But yeah, it's all very kind of like neutral and white and bright because that's just this kind of like style that they like. They like modern contemporary styles, which is very different from, you know, what they both grew up around. You know, if I'm thinking they grew up in Henford on Bagley, then that's a very like rural country world. And that's not really their style like at all. But yeah, so we're almost at the end of the build. So if you guys want to download this, it is up on the gallery. It's on the gallery as a room. 
so you'll just have to download it as a room and then replace the walls that I deleted you know the way apartment builds usually work but I'll have all of the download information and stuff like that in the description below as well as a download link and yeah all of like my gallery ID hashtags everything like that will be in the description in case you guys want to go ahead check that out also, I don't have the time in this video to update you guys on everything because there's a lot that's been happening. We got the announcement for two new kits that's coming out next week, two new build kits. We, you know, like I said, I'm doing, I'm rebuilding a couple of apartments. I actually did the last build for my first version of my save file. So the last build that I had to do in Oasis Springs, I got that done. The video still needs to come out, but the build is done. So I'm just working on a bunch of behind the scenes stuff and everything like that. So I actually did a community tab post about this where I explained everything a little bit better and gave you guys all a little bit of an update about me, channel stuff, everything like that. I'll leave it linked in the description below in case you guys want to go ahead and check that out because yeah, I don't have the time in this video to go over everything and there's quite a lot that I had to update you guys on. So yeah, definitely go ahead, check out the community tab post. I'll leave it linked in the description and probably in the pinned comment as well. And yeah, I think that's basically everything. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, give the video a like, hit subscribe, all that fun stuff. If you want to see more Sims content, I haven't done a voiceover in like two weeks. So I'm a little out of practice as well. But I'll talk to you guys all in my very next video. Bye everyone. I think that I'm going to hiding Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me I'm a renegade Stars.